Hi there, Todd Hargrave from Marketing for Hippies. And here's a very quick thing that you can do to figure out what you're known for. Uh, when I talk about niching, of course, when most people think about niching, I think in the, at least the industry I'm in, they think about who, you know, target market, ideal client, perfect customer, your client avatar, all that. My understanding of niche is a bit broader. That niche includes not just who you're trying to help, but uh, what you do, how you do it, when you do it, where you do it. The who, what, where, when, how, why, all those. I think those all have a role in your niche. And so the definition I would give that I think encompasses all of that is that your niche is the role that you want to be known for in the marketplace. So when people tell me, well, but Tad, I don't want to have a niche, you know, uh, you know, I don't want to focus. Uh, the, the naivete, frankly, in that is that you're not already known for something or that you can get away with not being known for anything. You will always be known for something, including it's possible you could be known as being a generalist or being kind of flaky or being, well, they do a lot of things. That's, you know, that sounds like in the real world. So you will always be known for something, period. The question is, are you known for the thing you want to be known for? Uh, do people understand uh, that you play this particular role in the community and in the marketplace or not? Because if you're not known for the thing you want to be known for, you get clients that aren't a good fit. And you're doing work you don't want to be doing. In a way, you don't want to do it. You know, it's terrible. So the only question is, are you known for the thing you want to be known for? Instead of the thing you don't want to be known for. Because uh, you will be known for something. Okay, but how do you figure out what the hell you're known for now? Uh, I saw this meme, and it's such a great uh, meme. But here's the question in it. You can post this question or you can Google and probably find this meme and post it. But the question is this. If I were to give a TED Talk, what would you automatically assume would be the thing I'd be talking about? What would you automatically assume would be the, the title or the topic that I'd be sharing about? That's such a good question. Because people will go for, oh, well, I imagine you would talk about this. And you might find that the thing people think you would talk about is absolutely not what you want to talk about. So then there's a bit of a reality check. Um, so anyways, give it a try. Uh, surprise yourself. See uh, see what is tag people, you know, in the comments below whose, whose opinions you'd most like to see. Some of your clients or, or colleagues. But yeah, what, what do they think you would talk about? What do they think that your work is really about? What are, what are you known for? It's such a good question. Anyways, what's your TED Talk? And if you like this video, you can click subscribe below if it's on YouTube. And then the little bell icon will uh, notify you if I have another uh, video come up. And then if you watch this on uh, Facebook, you can like the page and then share this video if you liked it.